Now, let's talk about Letitia James, New York's uh, Attorney General. She's trying to seize Donald Trump's assets in her latest attempt to uh, use the justice system or misuse the justice system to bankrupt Donald Trump and uh, frustrate his efforts to become president again. Uh, Kevin O'Leary is the latest high-profile businessman to speak out about this unprecedented abuse of power. All of that is being shaken to the core here. The concept of seizing assets in 30 days on a bond number that's never been issued. No insurance bond company's ever issued anything near this, so there was no chance it was going to happen. And only giving 30 days notice and time, that's a really bad message. And I think New Yorkers should think well past Trump. Whether he's president or not, or whether this attorney general is gone in four years or not, it's irrelevant. This is case setting against the American brand. But Army, can New Yorkers see past Trump? They seem to be rationalising all sorts of madness in order to get Trump. Yeah, look, of all, there's a whole, as we know, bunch of cases against Trump, and they're arranged for the meritorious, like the documents case. Uh, in, in Florida, the total spe totally specious, like this case we see here. And this, of course, is the most specious of all the specious cases against Trump. Uh, there were no claimants who were claiming damage. None of the banks that were defrauded came forward to sue him because they got all their money back. This whole thing was 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 hinging on him inflating his value of his of his of his of his buildings, which, by the way, in the rider itself, the contract, it says, do not rely on these findings do the due diligence them yourselves. It's actually in the contract themselves. This is complete and total lawfare. This is, look, there has, there will be, there has been some, and there will continue to be capital flight from New York because what investors don't like is uncertainty. And what this is, is creates capital mm. uncertainty when they say, hey, look, I may be a Republican. Will Letitia James, that clown car, that clown show, of a attorney general come after me because she's like my politics well the standard has been set he went after donald trump for purely political purposes she didn't bring it in criminal court she brought it in civil court because the bar is too high on criminal court they knew they couldn't get above it they did it in civil court where they had a judge who was very political very activist who in fact mm. put mar a lago which i yeah. drove by a few days ago this massive complex he put it at 20 million dollars if it's $20 million, Rita, you and I can come together and buy it together, okay? If it's worth $20 million. Yes. But this is a, this is a total legal lawfare. It is scary, not just for the president, which will uh, it might bankrupt him because he cannot come up with a bond, right? You can't put up your, your real estate holdings to come with a bond. You need the cash. Nobody has that kind of cash. Uh, this is going to hamper him uh, politically, and that was the entire point. And hats off to Letitia James. She accomplished exactly what she wanted. Now, Donald Trump is suing ABC News, uh, George Stephanopoulos, for defamation over this interview with South Carolina Republican Nancy Mace. Here is George trying to shame a rape, rape victim. And I'm not going to sit here on your show and be asked a question meant to shame me about another uh, potential rape victim. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. It's, it's actually not about shaming you. It's a question about no, Donald Trump. No, you are Trump. shaming You've me. You've endorsed Donald Trump for president. Right. Donald Trump has been found liable for rape by a jury. Now, Trump's attorney has stated that these statements were and remain false and were made by defendant Stephanopoulos with actual malice or with a reckless disregard for the truth, given that the defendant, Stephanopoulos, knows that these statements are patently and demonstrably false. Uh, Army, this is uh, interesting. If Trump's going to be spending half the campaign in court, he might as well start uh, engaging in a little lawfare himself. Yeah, might as well go on offense. You know, what the hell? Got nothing to lose. Look, it's crazy to me that Stephanopoulos, who, who is considered an unbiased journalist, when he was the campaign manager, <laughs> the campaign architect for uh, a president, a Democratic president, I mean, it's like if Steve Bannon or Karl Rove was, was taken on saying, you are now an independent journalist. I mean, it's the whole thing is crazy. But that interview he did with Nancy Mace was so gross. 
It was so gross. Mm. You know what? Shame on him. This is a stain on his legacy to go after a woman and try to use her rape as a political advantage in trying to defame the president. And that's what he did. Look, he knows the difference between rape and sexual assault. Not that, look, again, nothing about this is good, right? I mean, yes, the fact that the president, well, the former president was found guilty of sexual assault, that ain't good, let's be honest about this. But there is a significant difference between rape and sexual assault. I don't want to go into the details here, but the truth is he used it. He knew it. This wasn't a slip of the tongue. They have a lot of people working at ABC who vet this stuff. And look, I'm not a fan of lawfare. I don't like it. I don't want it. But when the one size, when one side uses it a weapon, well, that opens the door for the other side. Not a fan of it, but that's what's going to happen. Okay, what goes around comes around. This is an example of that. And he knows very well the difference between civil and criminal cases. And we're not talking here about a criminal case Absolutely. of anyone being found guilty of, of of any sort of assault. So he knew precisely what he was doing. And given that he used to work for Bill Clinton, uh, the nerve of him to even bring up this issue is, is something else. Uh, but Nancy Mace, I think, handled that beautifully. She's a very strong woman indeed. Armie Horowitz, always a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you.